how's everyone doing tonight? We're going to be watching Chopping Mall. This is going to be a horror movie vlog, and you've never seen it, right? No. And Max just dancing around our feet over here, our dog. And uh, this is a horror movie that I remember watching a lot as a kid. Interesting seeing how it holds up. A lot of times, uh, movies I liked a lot as a kid, they don't hold up at all. <laughs> And uh, this is when I remember like sneaking downstairs as a kid, watching late at night when my parents were asleep. And look at that cover art. How awesome is that? You dig it? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let us know what your favorite 80s horror movie is. And uh, from what I remember from the synopsis of this, it's like a bunch of kids who are hanging out at the mall uh, after hours. And there's these like mall security robots. I think they're called kill bots. And uh, something goes wrong there. They malfunction and they start attacking the people and killing them. And they have to fight to survive. And uh, I just remember being a little bit of 80s cheese. And this is a really nice uh, release for it from Vestron Video Collector Series. And there's been a lot of like horror Blu-rays that have picked up in the past like year or two that have gotten 4K releases recently or announced 4K releases. I'm surprised this hasn't had a uh, 4K release yet or an announcement. Maybe it will. Uh, but we are looking forward to it. I know I am. I, I know you we'll are see, too. Right? We'll <laughs> yeah. see that opinion after we watch yeah. it again. She's real picky with uh, especially horror movies. So uh, we're gonna check out Chopping Mall. Let us know if you've seen it and what you think of it as well. <laughs> take, uh, take the Blu-ray for me. All right, now show them the Blu-ray. Oh. Show them right there, yeah. This is signed up actually, and including uh, from, uh, it's signed by the director, Jim uh, Ronoski, who directed a few horror sequels, including uh, Return of Swamp Thing, and 976 Evil 2, a couple other sequels. <laughs> And it's also signed up by Robert Short, who created the Killbots in here. And there's a couple other signatures, so that's pretty awesome. This also stars uh, Kelly Maroney, who is in Night of the Comet, which your mom likes. We were talking about that before. I remember loving that one as a kid. That one still holds up for me. And it has Mary Warnov and uh, Barbara Crampton, who's been in a couple of great classic horror movies, Reanimator, and From Beyond. From Beyond is probably my favorite Stuart Gordon movie. So a great cast here, some uh, awesome killer robots. And I was able to get this signed up for in-store signing for the Blu-ray release for this. So I think that's pretty awesome. I love getting uh, Blu-ray signed up, especially for movies that I really enjoy. Mac, you like Chopping Mall? You do? You like No, don't, don't shoot that. No, no. And yeah, we got a nice autumn leaves Yankee candle going to set the mood. And we got the nice pumpkin blankets and show them what you got for the movie snacks. I got popcorn, put cinnamon on it. Nice. And then I've got some Snyder's uh, pretzel pieces right here, hot buffalo wing, yum -tastic. And then I've got watermelon, which I just cut up and got a juicy mess going everywhere. And then the coup de gras. We've got Quaker caramel rice cakes. How much do you love them? Uh, they're okay. They're not bad, right? They're better than you thought. All right, and we're set up in here. Drinks of choice. What do you got? What do you got? Lemon water. Lemon water? Boring. Amazing. I'm rocking sun-kissed orange, zero sugar. It tastes really good. Surprisingly good, right? Yeah. Doesn't have that like typical diet sweetener. Uh, flavor going on. So this is actually banging. High recommendation right there. But let's go ahead and pop the movie in. All right, here we go. Shopping mall. There's the menu screen. Running from the lives from the kill bots. Look at it going up the escalator. Mm. Love it. It looks like that thing from Power Rangers. Uh, I didn't really watch Power Rangers, but I'll take your word on it. It does. This has to be cooler than anything Power Rangers related. I don't know. But I'm excited for it. Is that Dick Miller in here too? Is the janitor? I don't remember him, that's pretty awesome. All right, we just got done watching Chopping Mall, this 80s cheese classic right here. What'd you think of it? It was good. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. That's the highest praise I've heard from her for a horror movie that we've watched together. Uh... Uh, to me, I think it's still a really fun time. It's a cheese-tastic 80s horror movie. Definitely got that uh, B-movie feel through it. And uh, Susie Slater, best horror boobs of all time. What do you think? I think so, yeah. Pretty impressive. No wonder I liked this movie so much as a kid growing up. So. A lot of TNA action, but also some awesome kills in here. The head explosion scene was epic. How awesome was that? Some good kills and uh, gore effects and stuff. You could definitely feel like the Roger Corman uh, influence here, including uh, Attack of the Giant Crab Monsters uh, that they were watching on TV. Lots of uh, horror posters all throughout. And this was filmed in an actual mall in California. 
And I love seeing all like the 80s mall action going on. There was licorice pizza I saw in there in one of the stores. Uh, the sports store with all the guns. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff seeing G.I. Joe's. But uh, does anybody remember Orange Julius? I remember that as a kid. I could really go for that right now. But uh, I love seeing all the, you know, the 80s stuff, the horror movie posters, the mall in general. Uh, the Killbots were pretty awesome. It's kind of like a short circuit goes horror. And Mary Warnoff is in here. I mentioned her before. She was in Eating Raul. Uh, but she was also in uh, Night of the Comet with uh, Kelly Mulroney. And you kept saying they look like they're so much older. I think it's just like the 80s, like hairdos with the perms and stuff, the the clothing and all that. But uh, Ferdy, I've never known anybody called Ferdy. That's the, the one guy in here. Uh, and I assume it's short for Ferdinand, but they never say that. There's some... Definitely some crazy uh, names going on in here. But uh, Kelly Maroney is pretty awesome. Um, I think the cast worked really well. There's a lot of recognizable faces. Again, Dick Miller is the janitor in a brief scene. But uh, a bunch of other character actors that you've seen throughout, especially in that time period. So that was really cool. Uh, Mary Warnoff also was in a movie. Uh, she was in Death Race 2000. Uh, but she was in Rock and Roll High. And Rock and Roll High Forever with Corey Fellin, which was... Kind of terrible, but also one I remember watching Sounds a lot as a, as a kid. She had this, like, cl claw thing. Uh, I just remember being crazy. Corey Feldman was in a bunch of wild movies back then. Uh, still is. But Chopping Mall, uh, definitely one that I could see myself re-watching again. It was still fun for me. A lot of great memories. And then uh, looking on the, the signatures on here, I figured out the last two signatures. Uh, Stephen Mitchell right there, which is uh, one of the writers, along with Jim Warnowski, the director. Jim Warnowski, the director, did uh, the voice of the Killbots. And then uh, Chuck Serino, the composer, uh, right there. So now I know all of the signatures on here. It's been a while since I got this one signed up. But uh, what do you think overall? Would you watch it again? No. Come on! Uh, it's cheesetastic. The no. Killbots, there Good other, Kills. There are other cheesy movies that Good are score. Better. Some great, you know, horror TNA. <laughs> Some great <laughs> horror perms. Mm -hmm. 80s perms. Nah. Uh, I thought it was a great time. Once the kill boss are introduced, it moves at a frenetic pace. Great tension. Uh, just a cheesy, good 80s horror movie. Uh, very enjoyable. One that I will definitely rewatch. And, you know, I'll make you watch it again, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think I will. What would you rate it overall? I'll give it a 7 for you. A seven. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. I still love the heck out of this one. Happy to have it on blue right now. It's the best it's ever looked. And I'm waiting on that 4K. I'm surprised the it doesn't have one. The cover makes no sense. The covers, are, well, and initially, yeah, they were, the, I think the original name was supposed to be Killbots. And uh, they, like, marketed it differently. But I still think that's an awesome cover. Makes no sense. Well, it kind they of don't does. They don't have hands. They don't have hands. But still. They're not a zombie. That's clearly a zombie. That's not well, a it's it's awesome. It's freaky. It gives you the robot, you know, vibe. Although it doesn't look like yes. that. They look like those robots. Think like more like, uh, you know, short circuit kind of robots, not RoboCop. But uh, still pretty awesome to me. And that's such a cool cover, even if it's not. It's just a, you know, catch your attention, which it does the job really well. And this does have a bevy of bonus features on here. So loaded if you are a fan. Uh, I definitely appreciate the special features and stuff like that. So really great release for this Vestron Video Collector Series Blu-ray release for Chopping Mall. All right, so she was telling me before they look like the robots from Power Rangers. Go ahead and show it. You, you Googled it. Yeah. Kind of does. Five was his name. Kind of. It, it, it has his head. They have the same head. A little bit, a little bit. It does. There is a strong resemblance there, but Power Rangers came out well after Chopping well, Mall, I'm not saying so that maybe that Chopping great. Mall inspired Power Rangers, the the Alpha Five character. Who knows? What do maybe, you think? Maybe he's real good. <laughs> he's something. <laughs> is that how he sounded? <laughs> and uh, let us know if you've seen Chopping Mall, what you think of it, and let us know what your favorite '80s horror movie is. Leave us those comments down below, and hope everybody's doing well. Take care. <laughs> Come here, Mackie. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Do you like trapping wall still? No, don't bite it. Sit down. He loves it. Just sit. Just sit right next to it. Look cute. All right, you're so good. Good boy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you wild animal.